this is a live trading example that I'm going to experiment with for the case studies that we were doing or just a video to show you a trade that I've taken uh, during the week and so you guys know that is a live trade that I'm taking. As we can see I've marked out my structural points, we gap down with a massive gap um, on Monday and when we came to the charts we actually had a demand zone. So this is a previous demand zone over here that I haven't marked out but let me just mark that out for you guys. So. We were actually within this demand zone. Let's put it there, over here. And price gapped into it, found demand and pushed up. And then when we came to the charts during the London session or pre-London around here, we can see we created some structure and then we've continued this structure upwards. Now my whole bias was to actually for price to come down. So if I just replay up to about here, Oh, but it's just going to keep everything on isn't it um, was actually for price to come down into here purge this liquidity purge this liquidity over here as well and give me some sort of reversal pattern you know break a structure pull back and then i'll be looking to take longs into this area here to fill this gap and that would have been my trade today however you know you have to be fluid with the markets as we can see the trade didn't come about we've left liquidity here here and here and I have also marked out equals just below my order block. Now, generally, I don't take a trade when there is equals below my order block. But in this case, because it is such a big gap fill, I'm expecting price to maintain this structure, hopefully, and fill this gap. If this trade doesn't work, then what I will be looking for is what I originally looked for. Price to come back, give us a nice deeper retracement into here, come into this demand zone that we can see on the three minute time frame, so this um, order block here, and then look for some sort of reaction and then take longs back up to fill the rest of this gap. So that's what I'm looking for, and let's see how price plays out. But just to show you guys that I am not cheating, this is actually live data that you're seeing on the screen, and as you can see, you know, there's no replay mode or anything like that. That's tick by tick data on the screen. So I've just come back from making myself a cup of tea and as we can see price has tagged me in to the trade and now it should be continuing up. Price has started to move away from my entry which is good and what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be going to break even that is because price came tapped into my order block pulled away forms structure on the three minute and on the five minute pulls back in and we've had an impulse away now so to me this means that price shouldn't really return back to my entry at this point because we've had that initial test almost to the pip actually near enough right to the pip here and it shouldn't really come back to my entry it should now start to pull away i mean it can come tap into this one or however it wants to do with order flow or whatever it wants to do there but it shouldn't really come the reason why I'm going break even here is because we had this initial test and what that's done is it's gone and formed equals over here. Right, so we can see equals over here now, which is for me a slight worry, but at the end of the day, I'm in profit at the moment and I'm happy that I can go into break even and go risk free and risk off on this trade. So anything I make on this trade is an extra. If I don't make anything, then it's just what it is and I get to journal this and move on. So I'll keep you updated to see what happens next. So at this point, we can see that price is not really acting in the way we want it to be acting. And it justifies why I have put my stop to break even, especially since, you know, order flow is being followed. Now at this point, we may get stopped at a break even, although there was an imbalance around here and this is an order block as well. So these order blocks may get respected and then price can continue upwards. Obviously price can still come down lower, then go fill the gap. It doesn't have to do it immediately or in this trade idea or setup, and that's okay. But I feel that going at break even at this point is justified. And actually I should indicate that over here with this. So just to show you that I am actually break even, um, there you go. Now, when we get to a trade, ideally what we want is we want price to ping off and then just continue up and then start forming order flow higher up. Let's see how this trade pans out. Looks like it could come back and hit me at break even or on the finest of margins, I survive in this trade and we get the 5.5 R that I was looking for. 
the final update for this trade so if we have a look at this trade we can see that price came in and pushed all the way down now looking at this um, and going very very zoomed in what we can see is that price actually came super close to our stop loss um, actually within about 0.3 now looking at the spread on EU around that time and around this time it is about 0.1 and so what that would have meant is had we not put our stops to break even this trade would have you know pushed up into some profit if i was in this trade how would i manage it i would actually have closed my position around five o'clock that's just like a mental plan that i have because after this point you know the new york session has ended the london session has um closed equities closed at around 4 30 as well and so the overall volume and volatility dies down in the market around this time and so I don't really want to be in a trade that will range or you know start to trickle down and tap me at break even or hit my stop loss or whatever so i would have been out of this trade now looking back at this trade and looking at what we could have done better because that's what we should be doing i want to deep dive into into this so i chose this candle here on the five minute time frame as my order block what i should have done is this when price came here and pulled away i noticed that we had some liquidity here and we can see around here we have an imbalance and we have a three minute order block now we can see price came down swept this liquidity pulled down tapped into this liquidity and reacts off of this order block it does slightly violate this order block but had we taken our trade from here what we can see is here's our order block we would have had our stops just as with the previous trade at around so that's 8.1 let's just round that to about 8.6 at 0.5 to care for spread and that would have been our trade and as we can see even if we targeted uh, london high we'd get a 5.7 out of it and we would have at the highest point 7.34 which is obviously amazing but at the point where I said I would have exited around five o'clock, we would be at around 4.8. And I hope you've enjoyed this live trade example of me going through a trade that I had taken and how I would manage it and how I did manage it and then come back and show you how I would have improved on this trade. I hope this helps you in your trading and in your journaling. And if you want more videos like this, just comment below, give this video a like, Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.